Hey, Hi, folks. Guys. I'm Tina Hui, we're here at Money 2020, and this is... Sean Donato from BitHalo. So, what is BitHalo about? Um, BitHalo is about uh, smart contracts. Sum it up in one or two words. So are you guys launched and everything? We are launched. We launched in July. Um, actually, a software contract, uh, I'm sorry, smart contract uh, software that was out, which is nice. Um, our, our take on it specifically is a double deposit escrow. Oh, nice. So. Was it hard to create on the blockchain such an app that's, you know, revolutionary? Well, I, I am not on the coding end. Um, you'd be surprised how easy it looked for our developer and our, uh, our founder, David Zubek. Um, he really has a gift in like, coding. It's really a pleasure to work under something like that. Right. And uh, I mean, he made it look really easy as far as, um, you know, uh, it's Python-based um, uh, client. Um, it just has a couple extra features um, than maybe like a Bitcoin QT kind of, is a good way to describe it. Uh, totally decentralized in that manner. Right. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it was that hard. I mean, everybody is crazy about smart contracts, so are you excited about everybody's interest in it? How's it been? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we feel that... Um, with smart contracts, it's uh, wide open right now, uh, kind of as far as uh, almost could be compared to the Wild Wild West. Right. As far as there's a lot of different takes on it. And I really want to... Um, you, you guys have Bitcoin 3.0. Yes. What we Marshall are, said. Right. We are working on some really cool stuff, I will say. Uh, they could look like a Bitcoin 3.0. We're just going to skip 2.0 and go right to 3. Just so. dive right in. <laughs> 2015, 3.0. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> So, you know, it's exciting. I will say, I mean, you know, you work in crypto, it's, there's no gold days. No. Uh, you wake up and you might read that, you know, finance, you know, world uh, technology has changed yet again, you know. Um, so, it's, it's not it's fun. Have you talked to people at the conference that aren't crypto related, that are interested in what you're doing? Or do they just look at you like, what is a smart contract? I definitely get that. Uh, I definitely get that look a lot. Although I give that look a lot too when I'm talking to people. So that when I do that, I'm like, all right, cool. So and actually, it doesn't have to be crypto. I was talking to a few places and I'm just like, you give the kind of like, oh, okay, nod, and I, I'm like, nice to meet you, you know, like, but it's technology, you know. Right. Um, you know, it, it's easy to, you know, once you have been around your area of technology long enough, it's easy to, to understand. Think, you know, you might have a policy of thinking it's easy for others to understand, but. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, that being said, I have had some interesting conversations. Me and a friend, Francesco, we actually, uh, we were walking along, kind of checking out the booths, and ended up at the Fed's booth. Ooh, how did and that go? <laughs> Well, you would have thought they were selling something the way they were set up. I mean, it was it was interesting. Um, they had uh, one of their giveaways was a uh, little plastic bags um, with diced up uh, dollar bills. Oh. So yeah, we got a couple of them. But yeah, I mean, it was like almost like they were selling something. It was just a weird feeling, you know. But um, it was totally nice, you know. Like like they seemed a little more put off than we were. Just like you know, like hey, like uh, oh, about Bitcoin, you mean? Yeah, they were kind of like weirded out that we were like, and it's like, you know, <laughs> like. That is interesting. We're going to have to grab some people who are not crypto related and ask them what it's like to have a Bitcoin beat. It's kind of strange for them. So, But it's awesome. We have a whole chat. What did you think of Money 2020? Um, Money 2020 was really, really cool. I'm um, impressed. Um, I, think, I think it mixed surprisingly well. Um, I do definitely think there's there's still a lot of there's still a ways to go as far as um, everybody being it's kind of like in, in one grand group there's kind of little sectors of like you know, processors and they might not necessarily understand uh, some of the like EMB things or, or you know and they might not understand Bitcoin and so it still has a way to go on uh, meshing but I thought it was a really good mix up a lot of talk on tokens tokenization that was interesting yeah wait. Like in the normal finance world, there's a lot of talk about. Yeah, that's interesting. Did you not notice that? No, I didn't. Tell me about that. Um, so, well, what I noticed, and this was on uh, one of the Bitcoin tracks as well, some of the other tracks too. Um, that words ever since I think Apple. Well, I'm used to that word. I'm okay. sure you're, you're used to that word, right? We Everyone is issuing tokens. <laughs> right, and um, Multi Apple Pay apparently mentioned it recently, and like 
Oh, but so now it's now everybody. Has to mention it. Now Visa has to mention it. Uh, yeah. Walmart, you know, Facebook, MasterCard. It's kind of interesting that Apple Pay has definitely like kind of opened up the world for you know mobile payments, and then it's becoming like, oh, okay, why can't you just do everything on the internet? <laughs> so it's kind of neat because it opens up the way for crypto. <laughs> you think so? I think so. You don't think so? I'm not. Sure. You know, I've looked at it. I still have to to really. Uh, I, I still got. I, I gotta look at more. I mean, it really looks kind of. Um, it doesn't look that interesting to me. I. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But do you but do you buy and sell things on for Bitcoin? Uh, you know, I don't. We don't have a product to sell. But buy stuff with it, yeah. But you know, not as often as I'd like. Uh, there's not as much availability as I would like. I like to pay every time I buy coffee. I like to pay Bitcoin. It's not reality yet. Um, How do you? Going. Would you actually see yourself using your phone to pay for things like that? I I would rather use a QR code with Bitcoin. Um, Why? You know, to be honest, to to support what? Okay, so to support what everybody's support working on something that supports decentralization, um, anonymity, um, quality. That to me is, you know, that's going to be a more cool reason why I'll get my phone out and scan something. High five. Before Apple. I'd rather use greenbacks now. That's just me. Well, there you go. How was your How was your money 2020? Oh, nobody's asked me. Yeah, um, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was exhausting, but great. I uh, got to meet a lot of interesting folks. Yeah. It's fun seeing yeah. financial people here from, you know, the traditional side of things because you know they're kind of curious but then they're also sort of like no I don't want to be on film so it's been I actually thought we were going to get a lot more people on board to be on film but I guess crypto is the only ones that are like yeah put me on video so people should be jumping in a chance to like talk about what they're working on the coin, yeah, what like, they're working on oh great it's a no brainer like, <laughs> are you a fan of all the coins I'm a fan of all the coins <laughs> I, I watch I'm actually really a big fan of YouTube too thanks yeah, so no, YouTube is great. YouTube, I, I literally want, I get all the updates and you know when you're, you know, Thank you. Them out, or, you know, watch them pretty much yeah. that night. Like, high five, high five. I like hearing that. I do. But um, I don't, well, it's kind of interesting because I think there's still a lot of red tape, right, with the traditional side of things. And so they can't talk about things. They don't want to talk about things. It's, it's kind of interesting to see that Bitcoin is coming here and we're all kind of in our shirts and t-shirts or like kind of just more, they would say millennial, but, you know, we're just more down to earth, innovative. I'd agree. I'd agree. And then it's been exciting. I mean, the keynotes were interesting. Then Lasky's comments were... They weren't what I thought they were going to be, so it's interesting. Because I thought they might launch the bit license here. Okay. I I, I saw an update on a Bit Karate, and I didn't know... I, I didn't see that track. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh. What did you think of... Did you hear of what he did? No. I saw... Bit, literally, I saw those two words, the same thing. Bit license... Ben Mosby, what like what's going on? Um, well, basically, they're going to maybe issue a temporary bit license, and then they say that they're revising all of these different, like, clauses, but it just kind of sounds almost like they're not going to change it much. So, we'll see. Okay. But early January, I think, is when they're going to launch it. Or they say it's going to be enacted early January and launched in December. So, it'll be interesting. I don't know what that means, but keeping fingers crossed because, you know, it's something that everyone's talking about here. Like, so what about the, the bit sure. license? What about the SEC? Everything's a little Definitely dicey. The <laughs> so, and everyone's, you know, gearing up for a pretty, you know, it's a scary time this winter. I think a lot of things are happening. Yeah, uh, I'm more scared now. You <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, winter sorry. In the words. Winter <laughs> is coming. Winter is among us. Like. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not scared, right, you guys? I'm not scared. No, we're, we're, we're totally... Compliant. Like, yeah, we, we, we see, I mean, something long-term compliant, I mean, that's the only, thing that make, that's the only model that makes sense to me in any business, is uh, cryptocurrency or not. Right. Um, if you can make, if you do something that's kind of like... You know, we, we are gray and make a lot of money real quick. You know that that's that's fleeting. It's fast fleeting and not long lasting. I don't I don't see that model. Is I want something that uh, is long term, grows even if it's slower. 
it's it's sustained. Really, yeah, yeah. Sustained. and it's stable. And actually, it makes sense to be compliant if you're working with money. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you're doing a startup, you would have to be compliant all the way through with all of your paperwork as well. Try not paying your taxes. Yeah, and, and <laughs> Uncle Sam will get you. <laughs> I mean, look at the tech. Like it's you know technology. You know it doesn't pay the. Yeah. It's the future's here. You gotta you know you gotta play by the rules. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? So. Where were you guys based? Well, I like to say we're based in Skype. Because, you know what I mean? You live in You know what I mean. I, I have a feeling you know what I mean. Blue yeah. wall. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I, won't, I won't bust your chops, but... <laughs> I, myself, am in Long Beach. Um, our founder, David Zimbeck, is in Cambodia now. He's working with uh, two new uh, developers who were highly recommended. And it's, it's weird. It's like, I mean, it's like their brains together. It's like a melting. It's like... It's amazing. I mean, I, yeah. I... We, we sometimes run into these like Einstein developers and you're always like, oh my god, why would you even, that's possible? Can you make me one? <laughs> uh, you know, you got New York City, uh, Florida, Europe. So. Awesome. Well, uh, what's next for BitHalo? Uh, what's next for BitHalo is uh, we think Bitcoin 3.0. Bitcoin 3.0 all the we're way. Gonna, we're going to skip 2.0 and we're looking for 3.0. You guys are one of the few people kind of leading for now, right? I would love to think so, sure, yeah. <laughs> Ethereum. But, yeah, sure. But, yeah. No, that's 2.0. <laughs> that's 2.0? Oh, never mind. We've been corrected. You're right. Marshall now. says, you should just bounce in here and be like, no, that's 2.0. Ethereum's cool. I hope they're able to come out with something that's scalable and, like, sustainable and, like, cool. I don't know. I mean, It'll be interesting. Yeah. Are you guys Bitcoin only? Uh, right? Uh, we actually, we support Bitcoin and Black. Blackcoin's really fast as far as contracting. We thought, you know, uh, speed's speed's nice. You know, speed's great. Uh, it has a pass for malleability too, which David is really big on. Um, you know, I I, w I wouldn't say we're biased at all. We have two options if you like P if you like proof of work, if you like Bitcoin, contract with Bitcoin. If you like POS and what that that has to offer, um, then contract with Blackcoin, which is a really solid cryptocurrency. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that's great. We're big fans of Blackcoin too. Awesome. We did a video about Black Queen. <laughs> Great community. Yeah, it's like those. Just there's a difference. It's funny though. I know, right? It's, it's funny. Every coin has a different community. Uh, what is, it's <laughs> great. It's like, it's like different nations. It's like Pokemon, but like or like I don't know what. It, that's what I said about like all coins recently. It's like yeah, because each has like a different power. It's like Doge. <laughs> <laughs> Light coin. Yeah, it's kind of funny. So it is, but um, the communities are yeah, it's cool. Well, we obviously like everybody, so yeah, yeah, yeah. as long as you're innovating and not hurting yeah, people. Yeah, as long as you're on a scam point, you know. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys.